and welcome to your seventh Minecraft modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.2.5. This is Saikai1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you guys about how to add a new food item and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you guys about how to add a new ore. So, um, the way we add a new ore, it's not a very simple method I actually have it written down so that I don't forget it as I'm making this tutorial. But it's not too complicated of a method either. It's not really complicated like adding a new dimension or anything. Um, you really just need one simple method. And this is public, if I can type void, generate surf this and then we need a few parameters we need world world uh, random rand int chunk x and int chunk z and I misspelled void I see don't misspell void Void is a very useful keyword in Java. Okay, so then we need to just add a simple for loop. So for int i equals zero, i if less than five, i plus plus. And this is where we have our first editable um, parameter. So, for int i equals zero, leave that and i plus plus. But for i is less than five, you can change five to any number you want. And the higher the number, the less rare, I suppose, um, the or. So, coal is about, um, I think it's around 15, is what I've heard. Not quite sure about that, but I know um, in one of my mods, uh, I have mine as 5 and it generates relatively commonly, so I wouldn't go above 15. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do 25, um, just so that it'll be easy to find. Um, then we want to just go ahead and declare a few variables. So int rand pos x, so random position x equals chunk x plus rand dot next int, and then 8. And just leave 8 for now. Um, sorry if I sound, sound a bit stuffy. I um, am a little bit stuffy. Um, but um, I did get some comments asking me to explain some stuff that I type, so um, I'll explain. So this is pretty much just declaring an integer, and it's sending it to chunk x, which is here, and then adding it to um, any random number between 0 and 8. And then we need to go ahead and do int rand pause y equals um, rand dot next int and then here's our next editable item um, so in here you want to put the level at which your ore will start spawning so if I were to put 32 the ore would only spawn below at or at layer 32. I'm just going to put this at 128 so that it's easy to find. Then we want int rand pos z equals um, chunk z plus rand dot next int And there we go. Now you can rename um, all of these to whatever you want that makes more sense. 
I'm just doing these because it does make a lot of sense to me. Random position X. Um, and also, I got one comment asking me, um, how do you know where to put white space or spaces? There is really no um, specific way to put white space or spaces in Java. If I were to go up here, and if I were to remove, remove this, it wouldn't change the code at all. Um, Java is white space insensitive, so yeah, if you didn't know that, then you don't need to worry about getting white space exactly correct. And then we need to add the line of code that actually generates our or. So just type parentheses new world gen mineable parentheses um, and then this is going to be the name of our or. So uh, what was the name of our or? Tutorial block dot block ID. And then this is the maximum number of ors you want to be able to spawn in a vein. Let's just go ahead and do 15. And then outside of these dot generate. And then for this, you'll just do world, rand, and then whatever you named rand pause x, whatever you named rand pause y, and whatever you named rand pause z. And there we go. Now, before we run this, we, don't, we can't have an or if it doesn't drop anything now, can we? So go back into block tutorial block, and you just need to add a quick little method and that is public int id dropped int i and then random random um just go ahead and import random and just return and then you want um the name of the block so you want the block ID that you're dropping so this is mod tutorial dot tutorial block dot block ID you could put like return five and it would drop wood but I don't really want to do that because that way we can just change block IDs from directly in mod tutorial so let's go ahead and run this single player, and we need to create a new world. New world for, we have a lot of new worlds, don't we? We need to delete a few. Okay, oh dear, this is gonna make it hard. Um, Let's go find a cave. Do, do, do. And I'll probably speed this up starting now. Okay, so I have found a cave, and already we have some of our ores generating. And if we were to go in here, then you would find large veins of this ore. So, um, I hope you all learned something. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Um, I'll probably talk about how to make a good texture for a Minecraft block. So thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.